Hey folks, welcome to our blending lesson today. So this week we're starting a brand new unit. We're starting unit five and um, this is day two of the star card, which just means like the, like I said the other day, this is the long R, basically what that sound is. And it's spelled like A-R, like in the word star. All right, so of course, make sure you're focused and you're paying attention to really help yourself get all of these new skills we have going on. Let's get started. All right, first word, yarn, your turn. Yeah, R, N, yarn, yarn. Y says, yeah. And AR, like the star card, says R. So like I said, some of my students like to, last year, likes to think of AR as the long R because we know that with long vowels, we say long E just says E or long A just says A. Well, when you see AR, you only hear the letter R. You don't hear er, you just hear the letter R. So AR, R. And N says N, mm, let's blend. Yeah. R, mm, yarn, yarn. Next word, harm, your turn. Ha, R, mm, harm, harm. You don't want to harm yourself. H says, ha, A, R, R. M says, mm, let's blend. Ha, R, mm, harm. So you might notice that if you were to do some letter math, if you were to take off the ha, huh, you would have the word arm. So if you can recognize that arm, like maybe you've seen that word in a book a ton of times. If you can recognize that arm, then you just, you see the H? Oh, ha, huh, you add the ha huh to the beginning of that word arm and you have ha huh, arm, harm. All right, next word, chart, your turn. Ch, R, T chart chart so remember this one has that digraph at the beginning the ch says ch remember we'll never say kaha always will it be ch and a r ch r and then t says ta ch art chart chart and next word Charge, your turn. Ch, R, J, charge, charge. So another one with that ch at the beginning. Remember, ch will never say kaha or saha. It will always say ch, ch. R, ch, R. So it won't be at er, at er. It won't be that ch. R, and when I say charge, I hear the J sound, J, which is a soft G. Remember that one. So G E is one of the ways that we can spell that J, that soft G. Ch R J, charge. Excellent. Next word, had. Your turn. Ha, a, d, had. H says. Ha, huh, thank you. Short A, A. D says, da, ha, ad, had. All right, so if I'm just going to add one letter to this word, had, it's gonna change the word, it's gonna change the way it sounds, it's gonna change the meaning. So if I add the letter R, then it changes the word and it makes the word hard. Your turn. Ha, R, D, hard. And if you remember from unit four, hard was a high frequency word. And now we are finding out some tools to sound it out. It says, ha, R, like star, R, ha, R. D says, D, let's blend. Ha, hard, hard. Next word, 
smart, your turn. Sm, r, t, smart, smart. S, m, s, m, s, m, because remember S says, s, m says, m, s, m, put them together, s, m, s, m, and A, r says, R, like star. T says T. Sm R T. Smart. Uh, next one. Apart. Your turn. A. Uh, P. R. T. Apart. So in the word apart, I hear short A. A. P says P. A R R. And T says T. A uh, P art. A part. A part. All right, next word. Party. Your turn. P R T E. Party. Party. P says P. A R like star says R. T says T. P art part. Now that's a, that's a real word. We know that word, but the word was party. So you hear the letter E at the end of that word. So that means you're hearing the long E. So we learned a whole bunch of ways to spell that long E sound. And then the word party, it is with a Y. So the blank Y, which just means there's a letter or a couple of letters or a sound that comes before it. So in the word party, it's a Y that says E. So let's blend. P -r -t -e, P-A-R-T-E, party. Next word, fried, your turn. Fur, I, D, fried. I fried some eggs. F R F R F R and I E. Remember, we learned that was one way to spell long I because when I say fried, I hear the letter I. Fur I. And one of the ways we can spell long I I E. One of those teams. And D says duh, fur, I, duh, fried, fried. So yeah, I, E, vowel team there. And then the A, R, all of these. Not at er, not at er. It will be R. It's almost like the A is not even really there. The R doesn't say R, it just says the letter R. But only when A and R are together. Fried. Next word. Night. Your turn. N I T. Night. Night. So this is another way that we have the long I sound, which says I, and says N. And one of the spellings for I, the long I that we hear in night is I-G-H. That's one of those teams that work together to say long I. N I. And T says T, let's blend. N I T, night, night. All right, let's go ahead and read our board. Yarn, harm, chart, your turn. Charge, had, hard, smart, your turn. Apart, party, fried, night, your turn. Thank you. All right, let's do a sentence.
C says, oh, it's a high frequency word, but yes, C says cup. High frequency word can A and SH says what? Shh. Shh. SH will never say saha. Always, always, always. Shh. And AR says what? R. Shh. R. Thank you so much for your participating. K says cup. Shark, shark. Can a shark high frequency word live in a B says ba And AR says R. And says, mm, let's blend. The R mm, barn. Can a shark live in a barn on A? F says, AR. R, thank you. R. M says, mm, let's blend. R, mm, farm. All right, let's read our sentence. Can a shark live in a barn on a farm? Your turn. Lovely, thank you. All right, so we need some punctuation. So this sentence, um, it has an answer, so it needs a question mark, a question mark, yeah. Remember, if a sentence has an answer, if I can say yes or no to whatever sentence it is, it, it needs a question mark because it's a question. So the answer to this question might be, can a shark live in a barn on a farm? No, are you kidding? A shark can't live in a barn, it needs water, it needs to live in a big, deep, dark ocean, or it might be, can a shark live in a farm on a barn or live in a barn on a farm? Okay. <laughs> or it could be, yeah, if it was like a toy shark, maybe that toy shark could live on a barn, in a barn, on a farm. All right, so let's do nouns and verbs. So in this sentence, we have one, two, we have three, we have three verb nouns. Now, so remember a noun is something that you can touch. So shark is a noun, it's a thing. Probably don't wanna to touch a shark. Uh, barn is also a thing. It is something you can touch. Farm is a place. So you would be able to touch things on the farm, like the barn, or um, maybe there's horses there, and that'd be another noun on the farm. Um, but the farm, like going to the farm, that's an actual place. Okay, let's look for our verb. Remember, a noun does a verb. The verb is an action. So in this sentence, we have one verb, and that's the word live. Because it is asking what the shark can do. Can the shark do this? Can a shark live in a barn on a farm? That's almost like a tongue twister there. All right, thank you so much for your focus and your participation. We'll see you later.